Well, hello to all and welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. and this is the daily advice reading for the new moon of March 21st of 2023. So we have a new moon energy actually in Pisces at this time. It is important to be free from any energies of insecurity to set your intentions and to trust that spirit is saying whatever we create at this time, whether it's a creative creativity uh, or spirituality, those pursuits are going to bring um, success either now or for the long, you know, it will be for the long term. It's just like things are unfolding here. And there was a big message yesterday on the 20th to not get in your own way. In fact, when we have a new moon energy, you know, write down what it is you are uh, hoping to accomplish and then pray to spirit and trust that those prayers are being heard and spirit's going to help you to give birth to something during this new moon energy. Okay, so I'm shuffling the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason and I'm going to be laying a circle spread for whoever's messages these are. Okay, so we ended yesterday's reading in the inner strengths position with the Seven of Cups. So for some, this is a message of fantasy and illusion or delusion, right? These cups are empty. Um, there's nothing on offer here, but we do have the number spirit, uh, which is a uh, number spirit, number seven, which is spirit's assistance when it comes to what you are putting your effort to spirit will now open a new doorway. So come out of delusion spirit saying after the seven of cups would come the eight of cups, which is the strength to kind of walk away. Now, this is just a minor arcana, so it may not be a big deal. Uh, since you have this energy here, it's very important that you use these uh, energies to create a project, an idea, a gift, a talent, or skill. Because again, what we create in this number seven year of 2023 is going to grow and prosper for the long term. So we need to get out of the delusion. Oh my gosh. And here's the eight of cups that I was just talking about. Okay. So look at these cups were empty. You know, they may have been fun or fine when it was what it was, but now it is no longer emotionally fulfilling. Something is coming to mind here on the 21st, or Spirit's trying to bring to mind these beautiful new projects and ideas so that you can abandon what no longer fulfills you, especially emotionally. Now, in the relationship sector, we have a great uh, adventurous Knight of Wands energy, okay? So, Wands represent home, family, or business. Uh, somewhere in relation to another or others, there appears to be some form of adventure opening up. This could be a very passionate energy who kind of comes in quickly, leaves just as quickly after an adventure, and then steals your peace of mind. So, I think Spirit's saying, trust that we're going to give you the strength uh, of your own emotional fulfillment to walk away from an adventure and not get lost in this energy of delusion. Okay. Wow. So this is, I don't know if this is business or personal. I'm starting to lean more towards personal, but again, remember what spirit talked about in the beginning. In fact, I kept seeing like, as you pray to spirit about your intentions, right? Your success in the area of creativity or spirituality at this time, maybe pray for it when you look at the moon at night. Uh, but the moon energy in general, as a major arcana, is spirit saying, and, you know, we're going to help you sit in this energy of hope in the creative aspects position of this circle spread. We're helping to shine a light on projects and ideas, uh, some form of adventure or connection that could guide you forward into a new, exciting and inspiring direction. Oh, wow. See? So in the actions position, we have the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups is a connection with someone here that feels very balanced. It feels as though it's kind of meant to be. So professional uh, uh, or personal, we do have some form of adventure coming in, putting someone here in this hopeful energy that this is indeed a soulmate, uh, a soul connection that was meant to be. That feels very adventurous here. But remember, 
to watch for delusion. Okay, so in the emotional aspects position, they're talking to either you as the King of Swords energy or someone who has a lot of air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. So uh, Spirit's saying, abandon your worries, your fears, your fantasies, and trust that this King of Swords, uh, someone who may be just kind of clear and to the point, sometimes a little bit abrasive, is what Spirit's kind of helping you to uh, continue to hope for. Okay, it is a harmonious connection, or you're going to start to see this develop over the next month as just a more harmonious connection as you or someone around you continues to plan some form of adventures. So this could be I'm dating, I'm going on a, trips with this person, or we're getting together and we're creating this adventure, and I'm really hopeful that this is my soulmate. So in the subconscious position, and remember, soulmate could be a business manager, partner in the area of business, a friend, someone whereby this connection feels as though there is great harmony. Okay. Oh, see, so subconsciously we have the six of cups. So we've got the six, seven, and eight of cups here. So minor arcanas, this is spirit saying, don't fall into the nostalgia of the past. See the past for what it was and acknowledge that the cups are now empty. Don't fall into energies of delusion, especially if someone comes back around here unexpectedly. Or if you're single, someone shows up and they are on fire. Okay. Uh, in some cases, yeah, we've been seeing and hearing about exes showing back up. Why? Because you're walking away. Isn't that how it goes? Like you connect, you wait, you push into the direction of their energy, which of course pushes their energy back. But the second you turn and go into new directions towards new uh, adventures here, your bright, beautiful aura is going to shine and people from the past are going to kind of want to come in and offer you these empty cups. So spirit saying, you, we were, we're going to give you the strength in your thoughts to be able to walk away and abandon a connection if it is not a harmonious one. Okay, so trust that spirit's walking this journey with you. Look at in the day to day aspects position for the 21st. I'm sorry if I ever said the 20th. This is the 21st. Uh, we have movement, communication, playful energy, and then a little bit of confusion about the delusion of this playful energy. Should I move into the direction of this adventure, of this harmonious connection, or should I abandon it or them? I think this is Spirit also saying that because the King of Swords energy is here in the emotional uh strengths position that's a really strong energy it's not so much emotion emotional or even passionate it's kind of like i need to know these answers so i can either stay or walk away so spirits saying remain hopeful continue to move forward let people bring this playful energy towards you as you decipher is this a quick adventure or is this a long-term soulmate so in the inner strengths position, we have the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. So a gift from the universe coming to many of the collective in the area of an exciting, inspiring direction. Okay. The Ace is a gift from the universe in the form of the Wands, home, family, and or business. So one's creativity. Spirit's saying we're giving you the strength to create harmonious connections, directions, and so on for what you're moving towards and want to manifest. Uh, gosh. <sighs> Spirit is trying to guide the collective to have the strength, I think, to hang in there until you acknowledge a path that is really inspiring or a connection that feels right. Just avoid energies of delusion, okay? Sit in energy of hope. Let spirit bring things to mind for you. Don't fall into energies of nostalgia because right now it's time for the new moon. It is time to connect with others or to allow others to come towards us to decipher, is this a passionate and exciting connection that I want to go towards and create for the long term? Now, I'm not seeing anything in the area of money. So I do have to say uh, this. There could be a passionate connection um, who, you know, there is a playful situation. But um, I think there just needs to be given some time, right? Because there's some questioning of the self here. All right. Well, here comes the money, right? When I said that. So in a three-card summary for further confirmation and clarification for the day of March 21st, we have a brand new path. 
unexpected communication, a win, a lump sum of money, a gift, an inheritance, but something that comes in quickly or did. And now there's like, sh am I in delusion? Do I want to abandon this situation? Is this person uh, emotionally uh, mature and balanced? Because I get to decide with the Wheel of Fortune uh, if this is going to turn in my favor, if I'm going to allow someone to come towards my energy or not. Now, it could feel like there's just a very karmic situation whereby there is an older masculine who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Yeah, fearing defeat, thinking about marriage, a lot of passion, but there's some unhealthy something here. And it could be nostalgic. Maybe someone's coming in from the past, which is deviating your attention from this King of Air, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Maybe a passionate fire energy, Sagittarius, or Leo is coming in, and you're trying to decipher which one is bringing me the most harmony. In some cases, we have the Knight of Cups coming down the center here with the moon representing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There is a little bit of delusion regarding that person. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Spirit's saying the 21st is a great day to use the Queen of uh, Wands energies to set and meet goals, to build and manifest a new path where you're stepping into a beautiful foundation. Basically, they're saying keep on keeping on with your work. We're helping for you to create a new path that is going to inspire yourself and others for the long term. Yeah, someone may be coming towards you. Now we're having that water energy of the chariot as a major arcana representing those who may have cancer in their chart. So we have potential, communication, actually passionate communication coming your way here. Playful movement here with that Knight of Cups type energy. Trying to decipher, is this a path of success and victory or should I move on to the next? So we have the Knight of Swords communicating a truth or just acknowledging change. Uh, maybe there's some discontent and boredom here. Uh, what I am feeling is like some of you definitely when it came to a father figure, uh, boss, leader, financially abundant, stable person, uh, there is this process of recovery. I am recovering from the nostalgia of the past. And see, as I move forward and continue to create or go on these adventures here with someone in the relationship sector, I'm recognizing not only that my ship has come in, but I'm building myself for myself a very successful foundation. There could be a wish come true when it comes to the husbandry energy. Ground yourself. Maybe this person is slow moving because of their nostalgic past and you're kind of mirroring each other on the 21st of March. So we have the web. I am going to decipher who can be in this web in my life, who I need to take out, who I want to add to the web of my life so I can be freed from a path of suffering and sadness. Yes, I'm bringing an end to worries and concerns in the area of bondage. Wow. So we do have someone feeling stuck or trapped. Again, maybe in air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. We've got cancer energy with the major arcana of the death card. But this is spirit saying we're going to give the collective the strength to free themselves from whatever is keeping you in energies of bondage. Ooh. Health. Ah, the more you create, the more you give birth to your ideas, the more strong you're going to be, which is going to help for your creativity to grow new, inspirational, passionate directions to open up for you, where you just feel the energy of the warrior. I'm strong and I'm secure in who I am, right? And with the Six of Swords, I am now finding solace. I can abandon a situation and move on. I can sit in energies of hope and not fall into delusion. I can discover or take action to move forward through these adventures to decipher, do I want this person or am, you know, <laughs> there's no going to the past. The nostalgia, remember, the nostalgia in the, is a diagonal to the delusion card, which is now like 6, 14, 13 empty cups. And now someone's coming in with this adventurous attitude or passion that's going to help someone here to abandon, uh, maybe just waiting for the truth someone here wants something let's look a little bit deeper shall we i think i'm going to go ahead and close though i never know i might bring in another message or two but i'm going to close with the guardian um, i'm sorry the gypsy oracle deck 
So dear Lord, spirit, guides, and angels, please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for the 21st of March of 2023. So yeah, fullness, maybe three people, maybe still feeling in energies of delusion, nostalgic regarding the past, which makes you think about more than one person. Right, but spirit saying, um, watch for a delusion of joyfulness. Right, um, hmm, I want fun, but I'm being delusional <laughs> because uh, someone's pulling me back into nostalgic energy. So, in the thoughts position, we have a service business organization. You're doing well. They're saying in the thoughts position, good. Keep on keeping on, like we talked about on the 20th of March. A service business organization is giving you that warrior energy to say, I can kind of take someone or leave them. I'm ready to look for a soul connection where there will be a harmonious path for the long term. Oh my, so we have going on an adventure or again, someone coming in because you're over here letting go of delusion and nostalgia and they're being drawn back towards you. But I'm proud of who this is because the Knight of Wands is someone who could come and go very quickly and then steal your peace of mind and leave you in this delusion and nostalgia. But Spirit's saying with the Widower energy, the collective on the 21st are going to recognize that something has indeed ended and they're coming out of delusion and it's making you feel more joyful what did I say the reunion card I could feel it I don't know if I said it for today but I sure in the heck felt it yesterday I've heard about it from people so there's definitely hope in the area of a union for someone but that's where the delusion lies there's a lot of playfulness and there's a lot of inner strength because someone's doing well when it comes to paying your bills and taking care of yourself so someone's going to come in to tempt you that maybe you brought upon yourself through this nostalgic energy but in the actions position, yes, someone here is going to want to take action to go into the direction of the enemy. Okay, someone here is hoping there is a harmonious, balanced, meant-to-be connection when someone comes back around. Now, Spirit's really saying something ended. Don't fall into delusion. Don't fall into nostalgia. An enemy comes in like the Knight of Wands in the relationship sector, and they come in with lies or deception and so on. So in the emotional aspects position, we have some who are feeling like you're kind of alone here with the room energy, waiting for more of a connection from maybe an heir, King of Swords energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But Spirit's saying just keep on keeping on. That joyfulness can grow. Uh, there does indeed need to be the letting go of wanting to come into a reunion with someone where the cups are now empty. The path is over. Subconsciously, we have the love card with the nostalgic card, feeling alone in your current circumstances, wanting to take action to go into the direction of a new passionate uh, person or, yeah. And uh, whew, they're going to be tempting. Someone here is waiting on a gift as a result of re a reunion, right? And the gift plainly is, is can you fill my cups of delusion? Can you move me into a more playful direction? Are we a harmonious connection or not? So there's definitely going to be temptation, especially if you've been feeling kind of left out from this person or alone. Uh, remember, spirit same, if you are ever feeling this way, turn that chair in towards the table and continue to create something that fulfills you emotionally on your own. Music, making music, listening to healing, this or that, working, exor not working exercising, eating right, and just doing self-care. Now, in the inner strengths position, we have the young woman energy. We have attention and recognition and the realization that, you know, I was that sweetheart energy in the past. Uh, those cups are empty. And now I'm ready for this new passionate direction that Spirit's trying to bring me towards. I'm ready with the young woman energy, male or female, to go into the direction now of a joyful path, uh, of a connection that I hope will turn out here. So there's a lot here about faith. Yes, so we have a child communication and misfortune, journeying towards someone whereby there may be a child or children involved, contemplating a new path with someone who shouldn't be trusted. Communication coming in that brings hope. Just like we talked about in the actions position with the reunion card. Oh my God, I'm just getting so excited. Okay, so we have hope, right? But there's there's also transformation when it comes to a false situation and that's why spirit's saying they may come in very passionately and excitedly but you're going to have the strength of the widower card to bring that to an end if it isn't love right uh so yeah 
Should I bring upon this marriage commitment partnership or a situation where there used to be one? Getting to the truth of the life's lessons that you have learned. Feeling sorrowful and maybe alone in the area of your own home. Waiting for faithfulness from the Lord energy. But at the same time, waiting for misfortune. Bringing an end to feeling stuck or trapped in your circumstances, right? Spirit saying, find joyful adventures for yourself or do something even at home that you love to do by yourself that fulfills you emotionally by yourself. Yeah, someone's thinking about who do I serve, give care, provide, or who's going to take care of me, right? Well, you're healing. We have a doctor energy too. Uh, there is joyfulness. If someone was waiting to hear from a doctor, you are indeed healing. And dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please continue to bless those who are ill in miraculous ways. Thank you. Amen. All right. Doctor energy is also, I'm waiting for someone to care, give, provide, support, and help me. Because I've grown and I know what I want. I'm going to think about a passionate connection, but I'm going to definitely go into the direction of what's going to bring me abundance, what is going to ground me. There could be a celebration in the area of uh, having a child. A lot of passion, wanting to come together and share playful communication about that gift. A gift of love, but be careful. You know, you can resist delusion and turn away or you can go down a path of a very painful lesson okay closing message from the guardian angel deck by doreen virtue so here comes some communication right someone's coming in passionately and excitedly to unite to reunite and gives you a little bit of hope but spirit saying you will have the strength to decipher delusion from harmony so this card says, for some, on the 21st of March, this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could indeed grow into something deeper. Now, I kind of feel like it's the one you're with that you're not feeling you're getting a lot of attention from because someone else shows up, right? And then that opens up two doorways. So some may be receiving a message uh, whereby someone was expressing feelings that you did not even know were developing. A social invitation could come, right? And, uh, or... Yeah, mm -hmm. could soon be on its way to you. But what's coming is a lot of positive recognition. Congratulations. The plan, Your plans, and I'm sure some of you now feel this, have worked out perfectly, and now it is your time to shine. Okay. Brilliant new ideas, like we said in yesterday, the title of March 20th's video will present themselves to you, again, if they haven't already. Just know that success is all but assured at this time. Express yourself openly and honestly to others, knowing that those who are being drawn to you are indeed uh, trustworthy. It's like this person's been where you've been, so go with them, even though they may be dragging their feet. Be open to unexpected opportunities. So when other people come in, it's great to experience that joyfulness and love, right? In the subconscious position, because love is patience and kindness. Passion in the relationship sector is what Spirit's saying. You need to bring an end to when it comes your way, because I feel like something's going to come quickly and unexpectedly. Now, when I look at the bottom of this deck, it is being served up with the Ace of Pentacles. So in some cases, this is exciting communication in the area of business. There's a conversation on the 21st that comes in where you can start to bring an end to a path that was uh, where you can have hope in a new path that is now meant to be a more exciting and inspiring direction opens up for some here and you can trust that message in the area of career finance and money so third card healer of abundance never never doubt that you can make a difference for especially now, your creativity and ability to be innovative uh, is going to make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career if you've been thinking about this or when this communication comes in. But don't forget to leave time for your family. I'm hearing a gift for design or decorating. If that's a service you've been contemplating, that's what's going to give you a lot of strength here as others tempt you in some way. Continue to fill your own cup and be free of some form of nostalgic delusion. 
is the message. So should these messages have resonated for you in some way and or you would like your own personal energy uh, general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month, three month, six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am now offering the Spring Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. That is a one-month reading as well. I want to say a big thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. To those of you who've come to me for month-to-month -month readings and to those of you who've been gifting these readings to others, that has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for those donations. Most importantly, take care. God bless.